Liquid Drum and Bass, aka Liquid DB, Liquid Melodic or Drum and Bass, or sometimes just Liquid, is a subgenre of Drum and Bass. While it uses similar bass lines and bar layouts to other styles, it contains fewer bar oriented samples and more instrumental layers, both synthesized natural harmonies, melodies, and ambiance produced is what I would make if I wanted to sound like Wikipedia liquid drum and bass. So here's my attempt at it. Set the BPM to 171. Start with a chord progression. Use one that's happy, but also sad. In C major, that's the 4-5-6 of 4-5-3 progression. That sounds like... I've also inverted the chords using choral voicing so that the chords don't sound super muddy when I put them onto a moving pad. On a reese bass, half time the progression and only play the first two notes for ominous epicness. Uh, don't forget to be a completely normal person and uh, automate it to make it move. And layer in a white noise sub. Sneak in a vocal chop. Then add wombo combo and wash it out. Fake horn. atmosphere in the relative minor and pitch down 12 semitones. Set it to complex pro and reverse it into itself. Reverbed marimba chord, but with Ableton's grain delay for additional rhythm. And all together. Wait, no, not yet. Oh, right, yes. Speaking of rhythm, Drum and bass break from a sample pack that I'll eventually release if the channel gets big enough. Also, make sure to switch the warp mode to repitch if it's in a different BPM so that it keeps its sound quality. You could make these manually, but I like to save time by using breaks that have already been made. If you want me to teach you how to make them, let me know in the comments below. I attached an LFO to auto filter for subtle vocally noises. Some more percussions on whatever these things are called. Castanet. And all together. No, no. Right, forgot. The hidden bell. <laughs> D&B kick, also from the sample pack that I'll eventually release. And a liquid D&B snare. Put it into the D&B pattern. That sounds like. But on the second time through, off beat the kick a little so it shuffles. All together? All right, yeah, go for it. Wait, all this for the intro? Welcome to Liquid DNB. And if you want to know how I'm eventually going to release this song independently without a label, then pay attention. Now, getting released on a label is a pretty cool goal, but what a lot of people don't tell you is the lack of control you have over stuff like release dates, art, even sometimes getting into debt with some of the more predatory deals that labels have. But if you're willing to put in a bit of extra work, the reward of being able to create an entire world around your music without any outside meddling can allow you to reach your full creative potential which means friend of the channel aka today's sponsor distrokid makes this goal incredibly easy if you don't know already distrokid allows you to upload your music to online stores streaming services like spotify apple music title and more through distrokid you have full control over the masters you send the art you post and it comes with marketing tools like hyperfollow which gives you one link to a page for your fans that can both pre-save your release and houses all of your streaming links. DistroKid 
also never takes a cut of your earnings, and unlike labels, you get to keep all the rights to your music forever. All this for only $22 a month? No, I'll do you better. $22 a year. Oh, and DistroKid is also giving me a special discount that you can use since you watch my videos. That's right, get 7% off your first year using the VIP link and you'll be all set. Huge thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Don't worry, from here we just take most of these sounds and add or remove them as we need to. So for the verse, just copy paste the intro and delete the kicks. Constant hi-hat. And bring that break back in. Oh, don't forget the castanets. And sneak in a little piano. Hey, you should add vocals. All together. Once again, copy and pasting most of the elements for our drop, which isn't really a drop, it's more of just the drums coming back in and it going into a different section. But for this video, let's just call it a drop. In the chord progression, take the seventh and duplicate it so that it's on top. Then copy and paste it onto <sighs> Super Saws. This time, have the bass follow all the root notes. And swap out the hats for rides. Find a vocal sample that's super pretty and sneak that in as well. Another one. And a little bit of dubstep as a treat. Resample some of the fills like... And as I assembled the rest of this song, it reminded me of all the times listening to a lot of Liquid while chilling or gaming. And in the back of my head, I always wanted to make this genre. But early in the scene, anytime I met anybody who listened to D&B, they'd be such a purist about it. The dreaded d and boomers. Especially while already looking and feeling like an outsider of the music scene that I attempted to be a part of. But with the new wave of us more online artists dipping their toes into DNB and hearing the way that they interpret it, it's making me a little bit more confident to give it a go myself while adding some of my own influences as well. Like this Kingdom Hearts piano. And of course I had to add some of my sad boy vocals. Never thought I'd be here. Huh? How'd you end up both anime nerd and emo kid? <laughs> like, pick a struggle, dude. But because of you, I don't feel so much like an outsider anymore. So if you like what I've been doing, even just liking the video and subscribing to the channel helps my content reach more people and lets me keep doing this. Big shout out to all the VIPs on Patreon. Hope you're enjoying all the project files, in-depth tutorials, and weekly song feedback on there. And even though I do my best to respect the pioneers and stay true to the genre, I'll always end up putting my own little spin on it. Sometimes I'll stray a little too far from the source. But every time one of those D and B boomers, D and boomers get mad, then at least I know I'm making something unique. But more importantly, something true to myself. True to me. You should too. Now. Oh.